Com. Up next, our TCM Import, a movie from Japanese filmmaker Akira Kurosawa that inspired the Hollywood Western, The Magnificent Seven. Tonight on TCM Imports, Akira Kurosawa directs a stunning achievement in action filmmaking, Seven Samurai. Then Greer Garson meddles in her daughter's marriage and Julia misbehaves. And Vera Ellen gets a break when she thumbs a ride in Happy Go Lovely. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. If you love films and enjoy collecting them as much as I do, you should check out the TCM shop. It features over 50,000 movie titles, and each month in a special corner of the TCM shop, I list some of my own personal picks. The TCM shop is also the perfect place to find movie collectibles and merchandise such as books, soundtracks, and memorabilia. So visit shop.tcm.com today, and do check out my personal picks each month. I'll see you there. He was a compulsive virtuoso, obsessed with pushing boundaries. TCM presents Friday Night Spotlight, Orson Welles, hosted by film critic David Edelstein. I'm no cheap, crooked politician. I'm Charles Foster King. 19 films featuring Welles' controversial and brilliant work, both in front of and behind the camera. Every Friday night in May, beginning at 8 p.m., only on Turner Classic Movies. Here's the character. Hi there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to this week's edition of the TCM Import. Tonight, a movie from Japan, arguably one of the most influential films ever made anywhere. From director Akira Kurosawa in 1954, it's Seven Samurai. Set hundreds of years ago in feudal Japan, it's the story of seven warriors recruited by peasants to help defend their poor village against bandits. When released in 1954, Seven Samurai quickly became one of the most successful movies in Japanese history. Before long, it was a worldwide sensation. Kira Kurosawa was a huge fan of American director John Ford, and especially Ford's westerns. Kurosawa's plan with Seven Samurai was to make a John Ford-style western, but set in Japan and told from a Japanese perspective. That's essentially what this film is, a Japanese western. You've got good guys and bad guys. You've got a sense of honor and sacrifice and plenty of action, but with swords instead of six shooters. Ironically, Kurosawa's movies subsequently influenced a 1960 Hollywood Western, director John Sturge's The Magnificent Seven. This is just one of many Kurosawa movies that were liberally borrowed from by Hollywood filmmakers. From 1954, released in the United States two years later and starring two of Japan's best known actors at the time, Takashi Shimura and Toshiro Mifune, here is one of the best Japanese movies ever made, Seven Samurai. 